What's up, vlog? It's Pia, and I am starting a new vlogging situation. I put in my um, Instagram stories, like, I love watching vlogs, and I wonder if my life is interesting enough to make a vlog make sense. So, I'm going to take you along the next few days. I have some time off work, so I said this would be a perfect time. I'll be doing stuff around the house, doing stuff outside the house. And so I'm going to take you along it. If it's terrible, we'll try again. If it's terrible three times, we're going to just leave it alone. But I hope you do enjoy this trip, okay? Um, so today I have to go to Target to pick up um, just a couple things. And then um, I am going to my little DC Pooh's birthday party. Um, the kids are with me, so let's go, child. Let's go. Let's see how we can have some fun. Yes, uh, code 4051. That's right. 4051. 4051. There you go. Thank you. You too. Okay, guys, so we got some black girl sunscreen for kids. If you watch my podcast, the Dear King podcast, you know, we talked about that. And then your girl has two holes in her ears, but she can never keep earrings in them. So we just got us some nickel free. Um, earrings to pop in there. Okay, we got more things to do today, so let's get going. Okay, so I live about 70 miles um, inland from the Los Angeles area where all my friends and family currently still reside. So this is about to be about an hour, maybe hour and a half drive to my niece's birthday party. We were supposed to be there at 11. It's giving 11.30. Um, but hopefully that means that everything is in full swing when we get there. I can just change the baby and get her into the fun play that they have prepared. So she can just get her life. And then we can get on with the rest of the day. Because I also have to go to Dave & Buster's today to celebrate my um, little brother-in-law's um, high school graduation. So it's a full day of all the things so hopefully you get to see um all of those things and um but yeah so no more b-roll because child in california you're not supposed to drive with your um hand with the phone in your hand so just shh okay bye Pretty warm. 
<laughs> you real confident, Charlie. <laughs> Little baby Nisi. Little baby Nisi. Hey. Lisa. Hey. Lisa. You want your cup? Oh, you so welcome. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Okay, so I know you guys are like, why does she keep showing us pictures of this little girl and it's water? Well, that's my baby. And um, she really, really enjoys water. She loves it so much. And uh, my niece does too. So my um, my sister decided to have a water play party for them or for her for her birthday. And so um, that's what we're doing. But the crazy thing is my, my baby has been standing on her own and taking independent steps inside the water play, which is the thing she, she has not done. Like she takes independent steps uh, well not independent steps she takes like brave steps when she has something near that she can grab onto um like say our table or our couch but today she's been very very brave and just standing up and playing in the water but i think it's because she loves the water so much that she's like putting away all her inhibitions and she's just going for it so we're so excited i'm gonna let her continue to play for a little bit i think my niece just went and um got some clothes to put on so she can kind of get in there with them and i'm gonna let her play with her little friend for a little bit and then in a couple hours we'll head out to go to my brother-in-law's um a graduation party and so today is all the fun but we do need to get back home on our side of town by uh by nine o'clock so we're gonna wrap things up it's about two o'clock now um so we got lots to accomplish today but it's been a good day so far Like y'all need to go one by one. Amazon. Okay, wait, is TJ Maxx and Marshall's the same thing? Because that's why I thought I was coming in to Home Goods. Because I saw. But I thought Marshall's and TJ Maxx was different. Let me find out. Okay. Well, I do need um, a bookcase. So I'm going to look at those. They're $69.99. I'm gonna stay away from the clothes aisles. I just need to stay in the home section. Um, these here are always so shiny and so good looking until your stuff sticks to them. Do y'all have that same problem? That y'all buy stuff for aesthetics and then turns out to be a whole mess? I wanna be like the girlies and use gold um, stuff everywhere. But um, I would have to change all my fixtures and all my fix, uh, my knobs and everything. And I'm just not in that place yet in my life. But that I do want to be aesthetic like the girlies. Okay, no snacks. I'm already wide as all outside. No snacks. Do y'all get into all of this? 
So y'all use one of these for y'all guacamole. Y'all making fresh guac. Is there any other thing to use that for? So I have um, a stone table and people always ask me for posters now it does give it it does water does stain and crack the stone because it's not sealed but i feel like it adds character but looking at these i'm wondering if i should get some to put on there these would actually be pretty perfect um we have blue and stony vibes um, these are circular, but now I'm thinking maybe these ones because it's already a circle table. These are a vibe and they're nice and heavy. Hmm, maybe. Do y'all model y'all seasonings and stuff? I've been looking for an entryway table and I have a very large entryway, but now I'm looking at this situation and I am not mad at this at all. I'm going to actually bring this up to the husband because what if we had two chairs on either side of the um, entryway so that when you walk in you can kind of take your shoes off, get yourself settled? That wouldn't be... And then up here we have photos and mirrors and things like that. And then this has a storage option. And it's kind of wide. So you can have some storage up there too, like some knickknacks under the mirror. I'm actually not mad at that. I'm gonna show him this video and see what he thinks. You see how they have the little things under here? I would put some other something better and cute. Hmm. So it's out of here, but I am starving, okay? Um, I ate at like 12 o'clock. It is now five o'clock and I need food. So this are these were the options that I had today. So, bar food, right? Bar food is never great. So, what I ordered was the crispy cauliflower, the Atlanta salmon, and I got baby girl some, a pepperoni pizza because shall we hungry? I'll let y'all know how this turns out. I'm not really optimistic, but I just made smart choices because um, today is looking like a rest day. It is 5.47 and I ain't made it to no gym. I ain't worked out. My wife said I got two workout minutes. So we're gonna see what we can do. The kid's probably gonna play. I'll record that. The baby is currently on the table. All the things. So I will check in with you guys a little later once we get things popping, once my food gets here and all the things. This is what I want. Oh. I didn't know Jeffrey. Oh. He don't even listen to my podcast. You don't even listen to my podcast. I do. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes, girl. Mommy did a good job, huh? I ate all my food. I ate all my food. This food didn't have no salt and pepperoni. She took hers to, to go so she can fix it later. <laughs> but she's still full. My baby still don't have no apple juice for her cut. So basically she's 
not good at it. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if y'all can see us, but we are. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Get your toy. Call her walking again. <laughs> but anyway, we are on our way to church. Um, child, we on a journey. We on a journey. What'd she say? So we are on a journey. But anyway, um, this is the number. Oh, I should have got my shoes. 
Um, but anyway, this is what we're wearing to church. Adesha's on her way down, and um, we are going to. We're visiting right now, trying to find a place um, because Charlie's getting older, and we want her to be in some early childhood classes so she can grow up in God. Um, and so we're trying to look for a local church, but. I will take y'all on. Like I said, uh, we also have some cleaning to do. So you'll be propped up to watch me clean a little later. Later, And so, yeah. She's just figuring out life. But, okay, bye. See y'all in the car. Okay, y'all. So we've made it to church to Sandals in Marina Valley. Um, as you can see, it's baby's nap time. So we'll see if she sleeps through church. Adesha and I are here to see what the spirit says to us about this service um they have many many locations i think it's like 10 locations where they have um church viewings and so we'll just see what happens um and i will share some of our experience talk about what they do at church. Oh, that's somebody else's card. So this is what I discovered. Struggling and wrestling with God is not a Jewish thing. It's a people thing. We all do this. And today we are going to look at what it looks like when we fail in our faith. And I believe that for the most part, we don't, we don't need a new insight or a more spiritual insights. Our greatest need is not to, to learn a new thing, but to trust what we already believe, what's already been revealed to us. So today, today we are going to be discovering God's word in John 21, starting at verse 15. Okay, what's up guys? So we are out of church. I apologize for the air, but not really because it is... 94 degrees outside so you won't get this air um but we just left church and first things first best welcoming experience we've had thus far would you say it is you best welcoming experience so far like from walking up to being in the service to the people in service very um very much so the best welcoming experience um i listened to the ccm music so i knew some of the songs that were sung today uh i don't believe what they should do them at all um it's not a very much blended congregation it's very much so um leans to the ccm uh however um there were some sprinkles in there um, which I feel like, I don't know if that's so much important to me now in this stage of my life as it once was. Um, but yeah, atmosphere was great. Um, what they said lined up with my theology and what I believe. Um, so that was good. Uh, it seems very much teaching based. One, who preached today was not the lead pastor, but one of the campus pastors. And, um, from, I think the, actually the campus for the person who introduced me to this church so that was interesting but I feel like the message was good encouraging for those uh, times when we feel like we failed God and we've fallen short um, and we've done something that we know we shouldn't have or we have deliberately gone outside of that to just continue to engage with God and to feel forward how did you feel about service? I feel like it was very educational and very understanding like the environment Come back. I 
think we're gonna come back. Um, we did get like a um, insert for the um, early childhood for babies to five years old. And um, it says that it's absolutely free, which hopefully. Um, it says anybody can come that no, there's no age minimum. So once we feel ready, we can go ahead and um, take her over there. And their age group uh, will sing songs, hear Bible stories, color an activity page, and memorize Bible verses once they are um, able to. So um, I thought that was cool. The lady at who um, who welcomed us, she made sure to tell me that everybody was background checked and, and the volunteers were trained for duty before they were able to um, participate in there, which is very, very important to me. I don't know necessarily how the... Um, how it works like check-in process and things like that i know some churches have uh like the baby um stickers that you have to have or wristbands some churches um and so we'll see how that works out i'm not sure i have to talk to anthony and see if next week when we come if we'll have her to go in there and see how she likes it um see if they have to come get me because she acting crazy i don't know but she's pretty social child um in general so we'll see I thought it was very interesting that as I was reading the um, elementary school side, they have what is called um, the uh, Real Friends, which is for kids who have special needs. And so I thought that was super cool because if you all know anything about me, I used to care for my nephew who has special needs and I have a niece who has special needs. So it's, they require a gentle hand. And so I know that that would be cool to engage with as well. So, no commitments, no promises just yet. However, we do feel like we should come back. And I'm going to talk to Anthony about introducing her into the um, early childhood class. See how she engages. See how she feels. See if I can um, see any temperament changes for her when she leaves out of there. And it will be a nice, smooth, I feel like gentle um, introduction into her engaging with um, a staff, a youth, a people that are um, not... You know, because she doesn't go to daycare or anything like that. So, we're about to head to the grocery store to pick up some things for dinner. Um, I haven't eaten yet. I've been fasting. I do intermittent fasting. So, I've been fasting. My fast ended while we were in church. So, I'm going to try to find something to eat at uh, the grocery store. And then, I'm feeling like Mexican food this evening. So, I'm thinking maybe some sopas. Um, she, wanted, she was thinking maybe some empanadas. So we will try some things out, look up some recipes, and uh, get going. Charlie, how did you feel about church? How'd you feel, girl? You still singing? <laughs> Girl, you have nothing to say about the last church. I think that's a good sign so far. <laughs> no matter what, always get a sales paper because you never know if there's more money you should be spending. Okay, so we are gonna go with Pico de Gallo for on top of the sofas. And then I think I'm gonna go with canned um, beans. I don't think I wanna get these, but I do wanna get this salsa for on top of the empanadas as well. They just already grabbed her a snack. Okay, so the sofas tortillas are Special if you haven't seen it before so I'm looking for that but we first need to get some more veggies so I'm gonna grab those I'm gonna cheat the game so let me grab a rose history chicken um, I like some with a little with a little char on it so we're gonna grab this one and this is gonna be the chicken for the sofas Pepper. Color matters to me. So 
So color and firmness is what really matters to me. So this one is really like it's appropriate. And I need one, but we're gonna get two for safety. This one's a little heavier. Cool. We'll that. We also need a jalapeno. So I'm not really sure how to buy jalapenos. If you know, let me know. Um, the last few that I've picked have not been spicy at all. So is it like this? Like the thinner the better? I don't know. Okay. Thinking I'll grab myself a salad. Um, because I have to eat something. Um, I haven't had anything to eat, so I'll grab myself a salad um, for before I start doing this. And then again, we need shredded lettuce. This is giving wilted, so maybe I should get. Uh, let's do the green leaf. Green leaf is looking. Good. Yeah, there we go. We need onions. Um, also, I just go for what looks good when it comes to onions as well. I don't know if there's a particular way that I should be doing this. If so, you can leave it in the comments below. Um, how does this one look, guys? I think it looks great. We're gonna go with this one. I'm gonna show y'all all the stuff that I got from the grocery store. Of course, the kid got a bunch of random stuff, but this is what I got because I shop for one thing and I stay on task. Okay, so here's our sofa um, tortillas. Here is my pico de gallo to go on top of that. I got two different sauces, sauces because I like to eat salsa with chips, and then this is the salsa that goes on the sofas. Um, some jalapeno um refried beans some mexican crema onions jalapenos bell pepper y'all saw me grab that lettuce for the sopas chicken for the sopas and then i got this turkey meat um the cotija how you say that y'all let me know um i got this for a snack because i just love pupusas and i know it's not gonna taste like the ones on the street but i just wanted to try it this is also a little snack um, that I wanted to try. I love cheese and crackers and it's like something to hold me over. There goes my chips for later. And then we got these empanada wraps um, out the frozen section. I'm gonna let thaw out so that we can get the frying our empanadas. So this, these vegetables are actually for the uh, empanadas. I'm gonna like jazz this chicken up with some seasoning. I'll probably throw another onion in there or a half an onion in there. Um, and some canned Roteo. And uh, like again, some like Mexican taco seasoning to put that on top of the sofas. So this is what I bought. I think I spent like 90 bucks. And I'm pretty sure this is everything. I grabbed this big old tub of oil because we have to deep fry both of these things and I think that's it okay made it to the gym 
I got some pretty bad news while I was on the phone with that insurance guy. So I almost didn't make it here. To be honest, y'all, I was crying my little eyes out on the phone, on mute, because I got more dignity than that. But now I'm gonna just finish my little 45 minutes because I committed to that for the 75 softs. And then I'm gonna go home, sit on the couch, watch terrible TV, and mind my business. Because I deserve it's better than drowning in ice cream and wing stop, which is what I really want to do. So it's not gonna help nothing. It's gonna hurt the situation. So I gotta put my big girl draws on and get my life. So 30 minutes on the treadmill, it's come to an end. We'll go do some resistance training in the circuit little thing over there and maybe do a couple of squats a few of those and then i'm gonna get out of here because lord knows i've had enough okay had enough chopping bell peppers um, for the empanadas. Um, I actually have a, a food processor, but I don't prefer it because I don't like to clean all the parts. And so I typically, if I only have one or two vegetables to chop, like for in this case, I only have one bell pepper, one onion, and a couple jalapenos. Um, so to me, that is not worth the trouble of um, putting the food processor together and then cleaning out the parts that requires because um, with a new baby and my job and being what it is, really and truly the only thing I have time to do is nothing you know so um that's where we are as far as this so I'm rough chopping this I'm not gonna chop up no garlic I bought a um a garlic press um if you watch any foodies uh home cooks on YouTube they all have a garlic press and I will show you mine a little later when we get to the cooking portion of this. But it's essentially uh, put the garlic cloves in there, squeeze for your life, and it will squeeze and mince the garlic in a way that's acceptable for you to put in your pot. Uh, and so that's what I'm going to use. Um, so I'm just going to continue to chop this up and then I'll bring you guys over to the stove once I get to um, putting this all together. But pretty much I am going to follow the recipe 
from Mr. Make It Happen because I've never in my whole life made empanadas before. Um, essentially, it's just meat and whatever else you want to put in it. Um, and sorry, I keep walking in and out the frame, but girl, I told you it's my first one. Um, this essentially empanadas can be whatever you want it to be because you're just going to put your filling of choice into a folded thing and then fry it, right? So really there's nothing to it but to do it. Um, so I'm going to try my luck at it, trying to make it with a Spanish flair. So the seasonings will be cumin and chili powder and uh, some all purpose seasonings. Uh, maybe some taco seasoning. Does that sound right? Uh, to make it Mexican for the chicken uh, sopas. My niece is cutting up or shredding the rotisserie chicken um, that I bought, and then I'm just going to put it in here. And for some Mexican flair, we're going to add uh, probably some ketchup. Um, I have tomato bisque soup, but I really like that soup with a good grilled cheese. So I don't know if I'm going to use it. I think I'm going to just put some tomato, I mean some ketchup, um, probably some chicken stock, aka bouillon and water, and some uh, of these. And then I figure once I have the roteo in there, mix it all up, let it reduce over the chicken. So put the chicken in there and then let the the uh, sauce that it's created reduce. And that should get the season, the chicken nice, good seasoned with a Mexican flair, some cool mint, some chili powder, some paprika, some garlic, you know. Let that reduce over the chicken and that should give it a nice, good Mexican flair worthy of a sopa. And you know, from there, that's really the meat and potatoes of the sopa. Cause after that, you just add the other stuff. So here we are, nice, good chop of those. Toss this into a bowl. And I ain't gonna bore y'all with the rest of this because like I said, I'm just gonna chop up another onion. Um, the onion, two or three jalapenos. I'm gonna be brave and just taste them to see if they have any heat to them and then uh, decide how many to add. I feel like I'm just supposed to add the skinnier versions and not the fat ones. I feel like maybe the skinnier ones are gonna be the ones that have the more uh, heat to them. So I'm gonna try that. But anyway, I'll be back once I have everything and I'll just put them all in the pot and then you can kind of see where we are with that. Bye bye.
meat up. This is turkey because we and digestive health. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna just add some veggies in it once it's brown. So I'm just making sure I have a nice mix of everything uh, because uh, before I season it, because I know it looks bland, but don't worry about it because I'm about to do that right now. But if y'all can see the whole soap, y'all would see that I have a habit of making a whole mess. So I'm just making a, getting the veggies nice and incorporated and then I'll do the seasoning now. Okay, so I have some, uh, old El Paso um, taco seasoning. Um, I'm going to just toss a nice amount of that on here. Uh, I figure this has most of everything that I want to put in my taco or in a Mexican blend. Uh, it has chili powder, onion powder, salt, spice, uh, sea salt so I'm probably just gonna add um, some cumin to this because uh, again it has salt in it already and I don't want to add more salt um, I am going to add a little bit of beef bouillon because I do want it to have a meatier flavor and uh, sometimes when you work with turkey, it doesn't give off meat. Uh, so, I'm gonna add just a bit of that. And then I wanna add a uh, spice to ensure we can be a little bit spice here. Gonna add some red pepper flakes. Um, just a bit. Gonna have some cayenne. Here, gonna add a smidge of that, and then, like I said, I didn't have any cumin in it, and so I'm gonna add a little bit of this now. If you know, like I know, nothing that has to stew is great without a little bit of this. So, do yourself right. Get you some of this. Um, oh, generally, excuse my so generally um, one pack will do. And for us black folk, this would be considered um, seasonal or. Um, you know the thing that thing we added to food to blend the spices that's pretty much what this is except it has its own flavor so i need both my hands to toss all these seasons around make sure it gets off the color that i'm looking for and the saturation is good so give me a second and i'll be back. so i also forgot to put a little garlic in here since my meat is already going, I don't have time to press any. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And then also, as I tasted this, it's coming together okay, um, flavor-wise, but it is missing a bit of salt. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt. kosher salt. And this is coarse. Um, I don't know if it comes in any finer. If it does, can y'all let me know in the co comments because I can only cook with kosher salt if I try to put, oops, that's a lot. If I try to put um, any on something, like it has to heat up in order for it to blend well. Um, Cause nobody wants coarse salt on like avocado toast. I mean, maybe that's your jam, but it ain't mine, so. Um, I've been having that issue. But anyway, 
So this is probably gonna be good now with that hint of salt on it. I am going to cheese this up. Um, cheese this mixture up, but it has to cool off in order to go into the empanada. So I'm gonna put it in a bowl to cheese it and then let it cool for about 30 minutes before I can fry it. But I think we got a good thing going on with this. Holding in the cheese. Just a little bit because we are going to put cheese on the base of the empanada. Um, in the shell itself. So just a little bit of cheese in here. This will make it easier to scoop and lay flat or lay nicer because the ground beef without the cheese is pretty loose so this is a little more pasty um, a little thicker now with the cheese mixed in so, right. pan is heated up on medium high I've washed the same pan because the dishes put some oil in here just a little bit I'm gonna also put ketchup uh, because I don't want to use my tomato soup and I don't have any tomato sauce. So we use ketchup. We're going to also use stock. Be careful. Don't be like me, be better. Um, I'm going to also toss in some of the, like I said, roteo in here um i'm gonna use chicken seasoning because again it has all the seasonings that we want uh it has the cumin red powder paprika um in it garlic tomato so everything we want is in it already so we're gonna use that we're just gonna get this to be a nice soupy paste before we add our chicken Okay, so I just want to mix this up really well. Um, again, we love a good spice. So I am going to add in some red pepper flakes to this as well. Um, a little bit of salt. Magic. Sprinkle in the magic. And so we just want this to come to a nice simmer. Maybe a little boil. Because then it'll be ready to reduce. And then I'll add the chicken and fold in that. Okay, so now it's giving which I wanted it to give. Um, what you didn't see me is that I added um, some, a little bit of black pepper and some garlic just uh, for an added bump of flavor um, and the pepper for a little spice. So it's giving what I wanted to give. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my chicken. So they have to see this for real. That's just about to be covered in this goodness. More. She's telling me back here that she didn't know she was supposed to take the skin out. So train up your children in the way that they should go. So when they're old, they won't depart from it. Um, don't ever assume that your children know. Just assume that they don't, okay? Assume that they don't know. Okay, so this is giving a little thicker than I want it to. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and add in some more moisture. And that's going to be by this time, um, probably some plain water because um, I'm not really, I feel like it has enough salt content. So I'm not, I don't wanna add more salt. But as you can see, this is giving, it's giving delicious. It's giving lovely. But I want it to sit here and marinate and absorb a little longer. So I don't want it to dry out. So I'm gonna add some more moisture. Hope please. Absolutely fantastic. It tastes delicious. So I'm not gonna do anything else to this. I'm just gonna let it reduce just a bit. But when you have it on the sofa for me, the best ones is when it's ooey and gooey and juicy. Um, so this is the consistency that I was looking for instead of that thicker pasty version. Um, but as you can see, it's really, really thinned out. And yes, this is, this is, I've literally never done this before, but dog on it. Dog on it. When you, when you eat, y'all see me, I'm juicy. When you eat good, you know how you want your food to taste. And this is how I want my food to taste, okay? Okay, y'all, sorry I didn't come back, but it was a lot going on. And obviously you can see these things brown pretty fast. So here's my sofa, sofas. Delicious, and this is the empanadas, and we'll get a open picture of that one so y'all can see good. Okay. Okay, the lighting's not great, but this is the inside. Into that. Mm. I feel like I could maybe fry them for just a little bit or brought the temperature down because it's a little overdone, I think, on that part, but. Food is great. When you get them at the restaurant, you kind of like um, cover them with like crema and like pico. So I was thinking about that, but it tastes good to me. Delicious.